I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Bro Jacks. <laughs> I wouldn't want to fall from up there. I would say the flooring is the elephant in the room right now. The vertical climbing wall, if you fall off that, you might hit the bottom. We've obviously got a couple choices in here. We were talking about mattresses. The problem is we can't put a crash pad on the angle or it's gonna turn into a slide and you hit it and you're just gonna tumble down the stairs and you smash through that wall. So we need something simple that's gonna do the job, always be in place. It'll have to be easily moved. For the bouldering part where you're six or seven feet up over a staircase, it's essential. The first step in building a crash bed is creating a slot in the wall. Smash up the wall, frame it up. Okay, smashing this. size of a twin bed. It's 38, which means we have a half inch to spare. So you want to do this? Mm -hmm. Next, we have to put in some rails. So when the bed frame comes out, these are going to catch the edges of it and keep it from tumbling down the stairs. We're going to make a little frame for our bed, and it's going to slide through the wall. It'll become a crash pad on that side. Slide it back, and it's a bed over here. We're really short of beds. It's 12 feet long, but it's a bed. Kevin's never going to use this rock climbing gym, but he does like to sleep, so it's good for both of us. I think you can shove it through. It's pretty heavy. Oh. We're going to need some rollers or some type of track system to make this thing glide easily back and forth. So I'm just trying to rig up the pulley system for opening and closing our trap door here. I have these little climbing bolts that you stick on the wall. You'll be able to start at the bottom of the stairs, pull a rope, it'll open up the hatch, and then you'll be able to go up into 10 feet. I'm still trying to figure it out, but I think Kevin's going to have a lot more courage now that we've got a great little crash pad underneath him. I think we went the right way with the sliding bed crash pad. In a sense, this is a game changer, because I went rock climbing and kind of felt the fear of God. If you try falling on it, yeah. It's a little close to that open window. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm going to uh, spot you. <laughs> I thought it would just absorb me like a pool or something, but it actually kind of hurt. Straight back, trust, get over there. And we're obviously not comfortable with that. To, you know, something would happen. Andrew would throw a knife on the bed or something like that. Head slap if you flinch. Head slap. Here's the board. Oh, couldn't do it. <laughs> We're going to be basically falling from 10 feet in the air. Um, I have my doubts. We're just going to be hopping onto it, basically. I don't yeah. think you're ever going to fall out, fall like that. I don't think so. Oh, man, this is so comfortable. Yeah. Stretch out. There we Stretch go. Done. done. <laughs> That's crash pad time, man. We're gonna be able to start climbing at the bottom level, and then you'll be able to go up to the vertical. You don't have to worry about uh, falling and getting hurt. Doesn't look too dangerous. I'm sweating, the crash pad is great. The pulley system seemed to work pretty well. We were able to go and climb right through. Nice little way to get upstairs, get some exercise at the same time. Can I open it? Yeah. I think we've definitely improved the staircase. Like, it's yeah. so much bigger and brighter. And if we, paint over the, if we paint over those clouds, uh, it'll be fine. <laughs>